And if you look at the Cold War, uh, from the very beginning, uh, you began after World War II with a great desire to bring Americans home, uh, to cut defense budgets, American soldiers home and cut defense budgets. And then you can follow a cycle of very high interventionism followed by a bit of a, a retrenchment. And certain presidents wind up being in the position where they are retrenchers and it almost, you know, you don't want to be too deterministic about it, but a lot of it has to do with circumstance. And I think that, you know, if you want to look at American foreign policy in that pattern, I think there's a lot of support for it. And you can go back before the Cold War, by the way. You can go back, I would say, at the very least to the late 19th century and see this cycle. And the question that, and I must say, I've always been somewhat deterministic about, about this cycle sort of perpetuating itself, partly because, and this is sort of my explanation as to why I call America a dangerous nation, is that Americans are not isolationists at all, um, by any reasonable definition of that word. That their ideology, their, their national ideology leads them outward because it's a universalistic ideology their love of commerce, uh, their love of uh, individual aspiration has always drawn them out into the world in search of markets, in search of riches. Um, uh, and their sort of democratic openness, I would say, uh, also tends to sort of make them open to penetration by other societies and open to uh, learning about other societies. They're sort of free approach to the world. So the notion that, you know, as I say, you know, Tokugawa Japan was isolationist. America has never been isolationist. Um, and uh, it's wrong to see it that way. But Americans who've like ventured out into the world for all kinds of reasons have often found themselves weary of that activity, especially uh, since uh, they became a great power. And Americans like to think of themselves as people who are just sitting here minding our own business. Um, uh, they don't have an image of themselves as global as globally involved and which is you know a source of much confusion to the rest of the world